Well, it looks like the chat wants to talk about Chris Paul, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, okay. Now, before we get started, really quick, if you guys wanna support, um, even everyone in the chat, just letting you know, uh, clanthemerchfan.com, 10% off of all orders right now. So if you wanna support your boy, you can go over uh, there and do that. I'm gonna have some more designs coming out pretty soon that's like fire, okay? Like, it, it's one, it's actually one specific design, just absolutely fuego. Um, but I'm not gonna release that probably in the next, it'll probably be the next week or so when I do that, cause I gotta catch up on so many different orders. So I'm a little backed up right now, but hey, you can put yours in. I I, I, I do it by demand, so yeah. All right, I, I went over that way too long. Okay, Chris Paul. All right, okay, all right, okay. News is Chris Paul just got waived by the Phoenix Suns, all right? But there's more news that I read recently that makes me believe that maybe he will be back to the Suns. Not 100% sure. Um, because it it came out that Chris Paul actually wants to go back to Phoenix. So I have no idea what's going on here. But Chris Haynes says they notified Chris Paul that he will be waived. So I just feel like the notified part makes it seem as if it wasn't really mutual. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's very strange. More stuff came out that said Chris Paul wants to go back. I, I don't know what's going on there, but it seems as if he's off the team. Okay, he is absolutely gone. At least that's what you know. It seems like could be wrong, but that's what it seems like. Um, and then also this little tidbit that people were not talking about because when we talk about the San Antonio Spurs and could they get Chris Paul? Well, this part right here makes me believe I'm I'm not 100% sure, Chat. Uh, <laughs> um, it says Chris Paul plans to play for several more years and is eager to help a team contend for a championship, sources say. So that makes me believe that he wouldn't want to come to San Antonio. So there's two different things that I can see here, okay? Two different perspectives. It's the San Antonio Spurs perspective slash fans perspective, and then it will be Chris Paul's perspective. In our perspective, uh, in the Spurs perspective, Chris Paul would be perfect to come to San Antonio right now. Like not only would he play off of uh, Wimby perfectly, um, but he he would just be a great mentor for not only like Malachi Branham, who's going to take more of a, a you know really, really more so catch and shoot role right now. Um, but he's also going to be using pick and roll. He's going to run some point guard. But I think he will specifically be bit, or good for Blake Wesley, who struggles mostly with poise. That's like his main concern right now, right? Like. He's just not very poised. And I think Chris Paul coming to the Spurs will really help that. So I think from the Spurs perspective, that's a great, you got plenty of cap space. You're not planning on getting some huge free agent this, this go around. You could sign him to like a one year deal uh, and go about your business, right? Uh, he helped the guys, everyone develops from it and you, you come out of it a, a better team, right? Um, but then there's Chris Paul's perspective and he doesn't have that many years left I know Chris Haynes says several more years, but I don't know how many he has left. Um, he definitely can't play a whole season healthy anymore, it seems as if. So coming to the Spurs just wouldn't make a lot of sense for him. I mean, it, it's almost as if, like, if we were a team that he used to play for or something like that, and he just wants to come back and, and retire a Spur, it, that makes sense. But he has no, like, true connection to the San Antonio Spurs for him to even come. Um, he had an opportunity in almost his prime basically uh, to come to the san antonio spurs well i wouldn't say it was his prime but when he was going to the houston rockets to come to the spurs and he decided not to he elected not to come to the spurs um and the reason being is because he thought that you know pop might not be there and all that good stuff so we had our opportunity to go after him we tried he thought about it and then he decided ultimately not to um and even during that time we were a team that could have won you know a championship so I think right now he's ring chasing, not in a bad way. I mean, he that's like the number one thing he wants right now. Uh, so I, I, don't, I just don't see a reason to waste your time with San Antonio unless there's a situation where no one else picks him up and then he doesn't really have too much of a choice. But I don't see that being the case, right? I don't know. I don't think Chris Paul would ask for too much at this point in his career. I, I'm not sure. Um, but I think the Spurs could offer him the best deal, short-term deal. Um, I don't know but i mean another thing from his perspective i guess could be you come to san antonio and they help you out as far as um getting you healthy and ready and resting for the season mostly so you can prepare for a good uh free agency in 2024 um but i i don't i don't i don't think that's worth it for him honestly um so yeah but it, as far as how i feel about it i would most definitely get chris paul i don't think there's anything 
uh, wrong with doing that at all. And as you guys know, I've been, I saw someone in the chat say Corey Joseph to the Spurs. I think that's a good one. Um, you know, I've been really high on trying to get George Hill. It's already been known or, or said that the San Antonio Spurs are interested in Fournier, um, which he probably more than likely would be getting minutes. Um, but I would prefer a player that's a little bit older, comes to San Antonio, helps out the guys as far as development, and, and they go about their day. And George Hill makes the most sense to me um, just with that because he plays so many different roles in his career. He's had to be a catch and shoot guy. He's had to be a facilitator. He's done so many different roles to I think that he could really help Blake Wesley with the facilitate facilitation part of the game. And he could really help uh, Malachi Branham with, with being the catch and shooter and really good off ball player and um, all that good stuff. Um, but I mean, that's just how I see it. Uh, you said no on Reeves. I saw that too. I was pretty shocked by the reception or, uh, that I got from, let me see. Yeah. Let's go to that video. Cause I was actually shocked by that. Let's see if I can find that video. Here it is. All right, guys. Hey, shut up clan. All right. Let's see. Yeah. I feel like it was pretty 50, 50 in the chat. Wasn't it? Or in the, in the comments. I'm not sure it's worth spending that much to get him, although I really like him on the team. Yeah, that was the main thing. 100 million would be absolutely insane that the Spurs would have to spend. Uh, it, it was said that the Lakers are willing to go up to 100, but I don't think they'll be able to. Uh, so I, I don't know what they would do to try to do that, but they're gonna go all out on trying to keep him. And I think that he's ultimately gonna be overpaid. I think he's gonna be very similar to Jalen Brown um, in that aspect. I think Jalen Brown's gonna be overpaid. overpaid tremendously um let's see i really hope we don't go after reeves he is good but he is going to get overpaid hopefully not by us yeah that's how i feel because right now he does look like a, a a great player but you have to keep in mind uh contextually he's playing next to two of the like best players in the league um and he's playing next to one of the greatest players of all time so him coming to the san antonio spurs i just don't know if that's going to be the case you know um what's that that's random. Clan, why don't you pronounce the N in Wimbanyam? Win, Wimban, how do I say it? How, how have I been saying it? Wimbayama? Oh, I don't say it. Wimbanyama. Gosh, what the heck? I never noticed I didn't do that. Do you think Victor uh, will get his number one and draft his teammate? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a rarity when you're able to do that. I don't know. But yeah. I'm sorry. We, we got a little off. Look, Chris Paul. Look, Chris Paul. He He's he's more than likely gone. Um, and whether or not we pick him up, I think it'll be a great deal for the San Antonio Spurs. And I don't think, I know some people have said this, and this will be the last thing we talk about on this, um, unless you guys bring something up. Um, I know people have brought up the fact that, well, is he going to like take over minutes for a lot of the young guys? Yes. But I don't think that that stops the San Antonio. Hey, hey, hey my cat again. I don't think that stops the San Antonio Spurs from um, trying to get a, a guard or a point guard in the draft. So I know some people were worried about that. And they were like, well, do you still get a guard? I'm like, yeah, you can still try. You can still try to get another pick. I wouldn't I wouldn't front about it. If anything, he'll help the team. He won't hurt the team at all. Um, nor would Chris Paul, even if he got like substantial minutes, would Chris Paul um, get us that many more wins. Let's just be honest. So... But yeah, those, those are my thoughts on that.